All right, Shalom. This is Brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Koholoyim La Abanawa Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Avakar Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and well, peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect, the Bayaf, the the house of David. All right, we're going to entitle this one, Prayer is a Defense for the Righteous. Prayer is a defense for the righteous. Now, the reason why I say that is because let's go to this scripture right here. Let's start with 1 Peter. 1 Peter 3 and, uh, and 12. All right. Let's, you know, let's start up. Let's see here. All right. Let's start at yeah, 12. Yeah, that's what I want. It says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are upon, are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. See, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, man. All right? But see, the prayers of the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. That's why prayer is a defense, man. That's why you have to pray. You know, that's why the scriptures say be instant. It, it says in prayer, right? Always in prayer. Okay. Let's see if I can find that scripture. And uh, I think it's uh, maybe First Thessalonians. Yeah, right here. First Thessalonians 5 and uh, 17. Pray without ceasing. Yeah, pray without ceasing. You see? It says, In everything give thanks, for this, for this is the will of the Most High in the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, concerning you. All right? See that? You see? So always, always pray, man. You always have to, you know, say, send up a prayer, say a short prayer, you know? You know, unto the Lord giving thanks, man. Like I, like I read here, it says, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17, pray without ceasing and in everything give thanks for this is the will of the Most High in the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai concerning you. All right. So prayer is very important, man. Prayer is your, def uh, prayer is your defense All right, for evil spirits, wicked spirits that may come upon you. you send up prayers to the Lord, man. With everything you may be going through, you send up a prayer to the Lord, man. The Lord hears it, man. Especially of the righteous, man. Like it read, like it said in First Peter, man. Let's go back to First Peter. First Peter three and twelve. It says, "For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. See, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, man." All right, because the Lord knows everything. The Lord's eyes is beholding the good and the evil, man. You see? But to the righteous, his, his ears are open unto their prayers, man. Because a, a wicked man a, a wicked man ain't going to send up any prayers, man. He's not thinking about that. He's thinking about just doing wickedness, man. That's all his mind is set on. His mind is set on wickedness. His mind ain't set on praying. Praying to the... the pray. <laughs> that's, what a, that's what a wicked man going to say. He said, Pray. You know, he's like, what, what good is what good is that for me? You know, that's what a, a wicked man will say. You know, but a righteous man will say, prayer is a defense for all the wickedness that may come against me. You see, because the Lord put because the Lord has angels who watches over man. He say he, those angels hear his prayers and they bring it to the Most High. They bring it to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, so that's why prayer is definitely a defense for the righteous man. You see. So let's go, uh, let's go to, uh, all right, so let's go here to the Apocrypha Ecclesiasticus of Sirach chapter 35, and I'll start at verse 13. It says, he will not accept any person, it says, he will not accept any person against a poor man, but will hear the prayer of the oppressed. And that's right, brothers. You brothers, uh, we, we're oppressed, man. Let's go to the word oppressed. Okay, let's go to the word oppressed. Op 
oppressed, subject to harsh, subject to harsh treatment, man. All right. You see. Keep one, uh, keep someone in subservience and hardship, especially by the unjust exercise of authority. Right. It says cause someone to feel distressed, anxious or uncomfortable. And that's how we feel here in this society, man. We're oppressed. We're pressed down. All right. We have no freedom against. You see, pressed against. We have no freedom here. This ain't this ain't freedom. We're slaves here, man. All right, you have a damn social security card. You have a damn ID. All right, birth certificate. That's oppression, man. Prayer is our defense against. Uh, prayer is our defense. All right, prayer is our defense, man. And a man who stays in, indulged in prayer is a man who is righteous, man. Okay, is a man who's righteous, man. No matter what, if there's a short prayer, you know, you just throw it up, man. You know, no matter if you drive it in your car, you're at home, or you go to go to sleep praying. You know, a prayer is, is very much more important than anything uh, that you can think of, man. Okay, because we're oppressed, man. We're oppressed here in this society, man. Let's go back to the scripture. Verse 30, uh, verse uh, 14, it says, He will not despise the supplication of the fatherless. Right, nor the widow when she when she poureth out her complaint, and that's what we do when we pray. We're complaining, we're complaining to the Most High, we're begging the Most High, we're pleading the Most High, pleading Yahweh Shai to deliver us out of the hands of this wickedness, man. Deliver us out of the hands of this wicked man, who's a devil, which is these leprous dogs, man. All right, it says, "Do not the tears run down the widow's cheek, cheeks." And is it not her cry against him that causeth them to fall? He that serveth the Lord, right? He that serveth the Lord, and we're servants of the Lord, right? We're servants of the Lord. When we go out on the highways and byways, we're prophets. You consider yourself a prophet, so you consider yourself a servant. So what does a servant do? A servant prays. A servant prays, all right? He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. The prayer of the humble, right? And it's all about humble. It's all about being humble as well, man. Okay? It's all about being humble as well. The prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds until it come nigh, and he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall uh, behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. All right? It says, For the Lord will not, uh, will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient to toward them, Till he have smitten and sundered the loins of the unmerciful and repaid vengeance to the heathen, till they have taken away the multitude of thy of the pride and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. See that? All right. So prayer is a very important thing, man. Okay, prayer is a very important thing. Let's go back to the scriptures, man. Let's put in the word prayer. We're gonna read a few scriptures, man. On why prayer is important, man. All right. Okay. All right. right here, First Kings eight and twenty eight. It says, "Yet have the respect unto the prayer of the servant and his supplication, O Lord, my power to hearken unto the cry, and to the prayer which thy servant prayeth before thee today, today." All right. So, hey, man, the Lord hears prayer, man. The Lord hears prayers, man. Especially, especially of those who are righteous, man, who are who are truly uh, trying, man. Those who are truly, those who are truly trying, man. All right. Okay. First Kings 8 and 45, it says, Then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. Uh, all right. First Kings 8 and 49, it says, Then hear thou the prayer and their supplication in the heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. All right. See? Look at this right here, 1 Kings 8 54. And it was, and it was so. And this is Solomon. Now check this out. This is Solomon, right? King Solomon. This was so that when Solomon had made an end of his prayer, praying all, all this prayer and supplication unto the Lord, he arose from before the altar of the Lord from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread unto heaven. That's right, man. Spread unto heaven, kneeling on his knees, man. That's what's very important, man. All right? K 
Okay. All right. See. See. Second uh, Chronicles uh, six and nineteen. Have respect therefore to the prayer of thy servant, right? Because we're servants. And to his supplication, O Lord, my power to hearken unto the cry and the prayer which thy servant prayeth before thee. All right. Second Corinthians six and twenty it says that thy eyes may be upon, may be open upon this house day and night upon the place whereof thou hast said that thou wouldest put thy name there. Right, Jerusalem, Yerushalayim. All right, to hearken unto the prayer which thy servant prayeth towards this place. See, Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles six and thirty-five. It says, "Then hear thou from the heavens the prayer of thy supplication and maintain their prayer." All right, so prayer is much more, uh, much, much, uh, very important, brothers. All right, it's very important that you that you must pray. Okay, you know. So you know, with that, brothers, you know, I'm just gonna end it right there. You know, just you know, throw some scriptures in there to understand. Get you to understand that prayer is a very important thing, man. Prayer is uh, prayer is uh, is what help us uh, fight off these spirits, man. Fight off these uh, demons, man. You know. So uh, you you know you brothers stay prayed up, and uh, you know give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You know. So with that, I want to say all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who were well, peace and blessings and citation to the hopeful elect, the Bayath, Dawada, Dows of David. Stay strong, brothers, hold your head. Shalom, kings.